bag a bag cause we going on a trip I hope Bianca y'all real name cause that's what I'm going with Hi guys, so this video is going to be on this soft glam look that I have right here. I really hope that you enjoy watching this video and yeah, let's just get into it. Hi guys, so I just put my hair back and I'm going to start off by using the Professional Primer by Benefit. I'm just going to be taking a small amount to put it focusing on the center of my face. Okay, that feels really velvety. I've actually, this is my first time using the Professional by Benefit and I really like it. I only got the small version because I just wanted to see what it was like and I kind of, and I got it in a box, like a subscription box that I got like three years ago and I just never used it. I don't know if I'm allowed to use it because it's been a while but feels good. Anyway, so we're gonna move on to the face. And you all know how much I love the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. It's SPF and I've talked about it in my favorites and in my other videos as well. So, oh, and I'm wearing something by the way. Mm. So I'm just gonna take that and squirt it on my the back of my hand. I'm gonna take the um, buffing brush by Real Techniques and I'm just gonna place it on my face so I'm gonna start it in this I'm gonna start off in the center of my face because that's the area that needs the most coverage I feel like now I'm just gonna go into concealer I'm using the NARS radiant tint of because oh, radiant creamy concealer sorry in light 2.75 canal I think after I'm done with this, I'm going to try the same one but in custard because I heard a lot of good stuff about that and I think that matches me a little bit more. That one's more like yellow based, I think. But anyway, I'm just going to put some on the top, down my nose, and around the mouth. Don't I look great right now? <laughs> So yeah, I'm just using the same buffing brush to buff that in. Okay. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave it there for the base. I'm just gonna start setting my face with the um, Innisfree No Seba Mineral Pack. I've been using this because it's the only setting powder that I have. Um, I will definitely like to try something new. So hopefully, I can just get like the Laura Mercier translucent powder or something one day. One day, we'll see. So I'm just getting a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna just pat my entire face. Yes, sir. Because you don't want anything to rub off, you know. Next, I'm gonna go into bronzer. I'm gonna use the Balm Bahama Mama bronzer like I always do. I probably should try using something else, but this one just works for me really well. So, there we go. Just gonna put that in the hollows of the cheeks. I have yet to try the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I actually do not own many things from Benefit. So, when people talk about like the Hula Bronzer, blah blah blah, the dandelion blush, like I have no idea what they're talking about because. I've never used it myself. So I'm just dragging that up to the forehead and the temples so that it all connects and it's kind of like a um an all-around bronze. Okay. I'm gonna take my ring finger like I always do to just shape the nose. So I'm gonna go into my trusty Dior blush in Happy Cherry. Gonna smile and lightly apply that shade just for some color on the cheek. There you go. Hmm. I'm sorry if the lighting has changed because I don't actually have like a like a ring light. I'm just using natural light. So 
if the color does change quite a bit then oh well this is the best part the best way to make your highlight pop especially with the color pop one this is the base even though it's so striking use a beauty blender get max fix plus or just get it damp okay get that go all in and just put it on the high points of your cheeks and you're going to see how magnificent it is what i don't know if you can see that but it's incredible and oh my gosh it is insane look at that we're gonna take that and put it at the tip of the nose and the bridge just drag it down that way it's gonna pop but i'm not done with the highlighter just yet because after this i'm gonna go and do a powder highlighter to set it all in I'm gonna go into Physicians Formulas Warm Nude um, Palette. I'm gonna use the top four shades there. Well, they're the lighter shades, that's why I use that. And I'm just gonna put it on top of the highlighter. What? Woohoo! Hello there. So I'm going to do my brows off camera because that just takes up way too much time and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm done with the brows. Next I am going to do eyes. Alright, I'll use the Morphe 25B palette and I am going to start off with using a blending brush from ELF. Go into this transition shade right here. I'm just gonna use that as a crease shade. Next, I am going to go into this shade right here. It's a shame that um, that they don't have names to their colors. Because it's just like, oh, I'm just using this, I'm using this, it gets confusing and whatever. But I'm using the same brush, I'm just packing that color to the side. You know what? I'm gonna bring the color in. I'm gonna use that and pack the color on my entire lid. If I'm really being honest, I am a fan of you. It's okay if it's messy because we're just gonna go in to blend it out anyway. And when I mean like pack it on, I really mean like all out. So, after you've made yourself look like you got punched in the eye, you're gonna take a clean fluffy brush, okay? You're gonna just blend it in because you wanna blow it out. You don't wanna have any harsh lines or whatsoever. Okay, so to add some glam into it, I am going to take a concealer brush from Real Techniques, like a small one, and I'm gonna dip into, actually I'm just gonna go into that color right there, and I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna try using the concealer brush first to see if the color payoff is good enough, because I want this to be a glow. You know, I'm not happy with the amount of shine that I'm getting with any of the colors. So I'm gonna go into Urban Decay's Naked 2 palette. This, oh, I love this palette for inner corner highlights. So you see these three colors right here? I'm just gonna dip in all of them and put them on the inner corners and that would definitely give me the glow that I'm looking for. I'll just wait and see. I'm just dragging that to the inner corner as well. Look at that. Look at that glow. That's what I'm talking about, but it's a bit it's a bit much, isn't it? 
Mm. Okay, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the glow. Because you want this to really like stand out, you know? Mm. I'm happy with it. I'm just gonna take a smudger brush and I'm gonna go into that transition shade that we got in, that we went into earlier. I'm gonna it's like a like a smoothie peach kind of color. I'm gonna place that on the bottom. We're gonna work on the bottom now. If you couldn't tell, it is me. Okay, then we're gonna go into that lit shade that we went into, that really dark shade, and we're gonna smoke it out. So, that's the eyeshadow done. Okay, um, I'm sorry for how messy this video has been, but I just wanted to update you because I'm still charging my camera. And to, anyway, I just wanted to quickly update you that I just put my mascara on and I'm going to fill in my lash line with a black eyeliner. And after that, I am going to apply the individual eyelashes and, um, and then put mascara on my bottom lashes as well. Maybe I'll do eyeliner, but if I do that, I'm going to do that off camera as well. But I just wanted to update you that that's what I'm doing. I know that this video is so, so, so messy and I'm incredibly sorry, but I just wanted to let you know and I'll be back when all of that is done. Okay, so I am finally back. I'm so sorry that I took forever and this has been such a messy video, but Anyway, let's just get to it. If you can see, I added some individual lashes that I never do, but since this is a, a glam look, I decided that why not just put some lashes on. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so awkward. Anyway, I don't think I'm gonna add um, a wing eyeliner so I'm just gonna go straight to lips so I am going to use these two NYX love products blah, blah, blah. so I'm gonna use these two NYX lip products they are the NYX soft matte lip cream in Cannes and London so I'm gonna mix both of them and we'll see how it goes Baby, I'm your man. So I already love that color, but I think I'm gonna tone it down just a little bit more with London, which is more of a like a nude brown shape. So I'm gonna place that on the center of the lips. I'm sorry if I keep looking up on the viewfinder, it's just so distracting. I'm gonna look at straight into the lens. I'm gonna try. Hey. I like that a lot better. So anyway that's it for this video it is a soft glam look i really hope that you enjoyed watching me do it i know it was so all over the place and it took a while to get there but we're here and i really hope that you enjoyed me put on my makeup and yeah if you have any video suggestions don't forget to leave them in the comments below and thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>